Hi, how are you guys doing today? I am Rich, your host from Rich TV Live, and I'm here with my special guests, Eric Newlin, the Vice President, and Fabian Deneau, the President of Digital Development Partners. How are you guys doing today? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thank you guys for joining us. Very excited about learning more about your company today. What is your individual, and we can start with, you guys can give us your individual past track record of success. Could you please touch on business and entrepreneurial success? I'll start with that. Over the past 25 years, I've uh, started several different businesses, including uh, digital media. I did, had a Bluetooth advertising business when I was in Las Vegas. Uh, nice. Had a few small businesses that I started and uh, was able to build in and sell out. Uh, over the last 10 years, I've gotten really involved in uh, biochemicals and um, natural plants-based uh, products. So uh, that's what we've I've been working on, and uh, Eric and I have come together over that. Okay, good. Yeah, and, and I've been a securities lawyer for 33 years and plus a little bit, and specializing in the micro cap world, um, doing shells when I first started. Uh, kind of always had an entrepreneurial spirit. And uh, my most interesting one was a beer of the month club that I did down here in Dallas. Uh, we got up to about 500 members and wow, it just got to be too much. It was in 1996. So um, I enjoyed that. It, it let my creative side come out. And with Fabian, this project has sort of ignited that in both of us. And, and we're really enjoying it together. And so let's talk about the project, guys. Yeah. Um, how are things going today with digital development partners? Eric, I'll let you start on that one just because uh, you can kind of give a synopsis there. And Well, let me do it, I guess. Um, right now, things are going very well. Uh, right. uh, in December of 2020, this past December, even in spite of COVID, we were able to get our mite extreme uh, through the EPA process and get that certified as a biopesticide. Uh, so with that moving forward, we have a lot of opportunities. Uh, we've been talking with uh, uh, foreign exports, including uh, China, Taiwan, um, the Middle East, and South America. With the spider mite issue in all of those areas, uh, it affects lots of different crops. Developed it for the cannabis industry because that was the low-hanging fruit. That's what I was working on at that point. Smart. And uh, we've got in, done a lot of testing on strawberries, blueberries, coffee, um, a lot of hops, a lot of different uh, issues that we, that deal with spider mites, a lot of crops that deal with spider mites. In that, we also found that it, it reduces molds and mildews, eliminates molds and mildews. So as we were building that, you know, we had to get the EPA approvals. Now we're on the way to getting our state approvals because each state requires that uh, we register in that state. So uh, that's where we're at with that. We expect that to be over the next couple to three months that we'll be registering all of the states. Our foreign exports can um, take place a lot quicker than that. Uh, because we're EPA approved, a lot of these foreign countries will look at that and approve it fairly rapidly. And then we can start marketing in those in those areas. Great. We're, we're also able to uh, use some of the offering money that we've received under our Regulation A offering in the past few months. We just uh, spent a couple hundred thousand dollars buying uh, distribution assets for our CBD products. Great. Um, we couldn't really uh, attract a real distributor, if you will, who would take our products. So we decided to skin the cat a different way. We're buying our way up in Montana first. We're going to basically buy routes, buying the assets, and then sending our guys in there with those hot leads on those stores, putting our CBD products in there. And we know we have about 50 or 80 uh, customers now up there that when they're in the, when they're in the C stores, those products will turn and, nice. and it's just going to build. And then our website, we can put a little money on that and really start driving traffic to that at grizzlycreeknaturals.com. So really good. I'm a big fan of CBD. So I love what you guys are talking yeah. about. Well, you'll like our stuff, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are speaking my language and we've actually spoken to quite a few CBD companies right? and it's just one of the faster growing industries that I'm a really big fan of because of the medicinal purposes. Yeah, it is. And Fabian actually manufactures, he, he directs the manufacturing of all of them. We don't, we're not white labeling, we're making our own. Very and good. So, which Very sets, good. and what sets us a little bit apart from other CBD providers is uh, our proprietary blending. We're not using any preservatives. We're not using uh, any additives. It is just 
a oil, CBD, and a flavoring, uh, all natural. So uh, in our, our tincture products, our body butters and uh, sports creams and things like that, uh, we try to keep things as all natural as we possibly can. We're also Thank now you. looking into CBG and CBN as those are becoming more, uh, no, 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 having more notoriety in the market. Uh, so we're also experimenting with those at this point. Very good. Can you define the problem that your company solves? It is the only product. Uh, I, a couple of years ago, I was in the uh, marijuana, medical marijuana distribution and growing. Um, couldn't find anything that would kill spider mites. The neem oil was great, but it don't, you, know, you had to stop. Uh, it was only a, a prophylactic for the spider mites. It coats the plant. Uh, spider mites can't get into the chlorophyll. Um, so I have developed another product years ago that uh, we're looking at taking into the market, hopefully by the end of this year. Uh, we adjusted that. Some came up with uh, a whole new product that one was... Um, plant-based, but was effective on uh, eliminating spider mites, their eggs, webbing, uh, that you could spray right up to the day of harvest. There is no, There are no other products out there that allow you to do that. A byproduct of that was understanding that it also um, eliminated molds and mildews. And that's a big problem, especially in some areas of the United States where uh, they're even getting so bad they have yeast in them. So uh, we were able to develop this product to cover that industry. Then it has grown since then uh, in that spider mite and aphid uh, elimination. So we're pretty excited about what that does. Uh, on the CBD part, I got into that because of a necessity. My youngest daughter was, is, was critically ill. I ended up having a transplant. Um, that's how I got into the medical marijuana, marijuana business. Uh, she couldn't take opioids anymore. She had an opioid, over, opioid overdose and said, Dad, I can't do this anymore. I want to try mar medical marijuana. So as we started there, we got into the CBD part because of her unique uh, circumstances uh, she had a lot of reaction to other CBD products. And what we decided it was is the effects of the um, preservatives and then the additives that other companies are putting in. So we took and started studying CBDs. Uh, thankfully, now she's doing great. She had a transplant a year ago and is um, using CBD almost exclusively for um, any inflammation and pain control and is just doing wonderfully. That's why now we're looking at CBGs and CBNs. What else can we do in that market to help people? And that's what it's all about. Our, our company slogan is uh, DGDM, doing good, doing more. And that's what, what sets us apart. I like that. And I love when I hear a story that is coming about due to a necessity. You know, oh, I'm not just in this business to make money, but I'm in this business to make a difference. Those, those are typically the companies that have the most success. Like we've seen that with C-Web, right? Charlotte's Web. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they've been a huge success with CBDs, one of the biggest CBD companies in the world. And that entire story about Charlotte, it resonates with people because it was something that made a difference for her. And now it's potentially one of the biggest CBD companies in the world because it was something that was a need, not a want. And I think that your story with your daughter is a great story. Hopefully, she continues to have success. Um, Thank you. What, what is your company's, why is your company's culture unique? I think it's because we follow the doing good, doing more first. That's kind of how we live our lives personally. And I've always believed that translates into the business world, that you can get your people to perform beyond what they thought they could do. Um, I've watched, I've coached a lot of teams and the young people that I've coached. I see that if you place faith in them, that's the inspiration they need. I think we're going to bring that into our company. It's, it's, it's yielding results right now with the people we're dealing with. Um, we're not afraid to work hard and we'll make sure I'm still practicing law full time. I'm doing this as well. Fabian's doing his, his gigs too. We'll, we'll work extra hours. Uh, that's how you build a really strong company and one that will last and, and always go on the extra mile works. Well, and also, you know, when, as you said, it, when you start from a place of, of need, not want, it really makes a difference. So 
needing to help my daughter was what really drove me. Uh, I've known Eric for a long time. Um, and that need started resulting in people around my daughter, around my community. Uh, so we were able to help people in our community. This was a result of having spider mites on uh, both cannabis and hemp uh, plants and needing to uh, eliminate that so we could have the best products possible. And uh, we don't, in any of the things we do, we try to stay as natural as we can. And that's bore out of the basis of my daughter to start with, but all the other people we've begun helping. Uh, we now ship uh, our CBD products across the United States and um, have had great success with people coming back and repurchasing. Our repurchase is about 98%. Wow. People who buy our product are rebuying it. So, um, and the, the stories and the testimonials we get back that say, this helped me. This is actually making a difference. That's the reward in, in the business. Of course, we want it to make money. We want it to be successful. Um, but it's all back to the roots of what makes us different is we're living it. We care. What are your needs for financing and mergers and acquisitions? Most smaller companies need to raise money and they need to do mergers and acquisitions to acquire their growth. What are your guys' needs right now? Well, we're in the midst of our Regulation A offering. We've, we've raised some good funds on that, um, a good Great. start. Uh, going forward, uh, the next six or $700,000, we're going to pour into Might Extreme. That is, that is why we started this company. That's our foundational element. Uh, the potential for that is massive. Um, I laugh about it being a billion-dollar company. Who knows? It's going around the world. There's spider mites everywhere. Yeah, um, so we're going to pour our money on, we're going to be in all the states, we're going to try to get into Lowe's, Home Depot, all that, we're going to hit the big grows, we're going to start exporting, I know we're just a matter of time, and sending samples out and saying try it, it's the way we do with our CBD, try it, see what you like, um, so we're going to do that, uh, we get another hundred grand, couple hundred grand, we're going to pour that on the distribution of our CBD, both physically, where we're going to start soaking up assets to deploy into the, as we grow our footprint away from Western Montana and into the neighboring states, we feel like we have a repeatable business that we can take everywhere the way we're doing it. And then we're gonna pour more money, which is very important on our web presence and driving traffic to the grizzlycreeknaturals.com site. Uh, that way, the depth of our company becomes more and more apparent when people start Googling CBD or biopesticide or mites or cannabis problems or anything like that, we'll start coming up those results and, and driving people to our sites. Very good. What are your key milestones for the next 12 months? Well, the key milestones I see is um, one, getting all of the states uh, certified to be used in each of those states uh, to be approved on their marijuana grow uh, proprietary lists that a lot of states have. Exports, um, where we're very deeply into a project with a Middle Eastern country. Uh, they're one of the largest bio uh, agri ag chemical companies in uh, the Middle East. And they are expressing to us that spider mites are the number one crop issue that they have there. Uh, we've seen that in the, again in uh, South America with the coffee grow. Uh, so that's our milestones, getting it, one, registered in all of the states and marketed in the United States. Two, our, our foreign exports are very important uh, to what we're doing and growing the company. On the CBD side, um, as uh, Eric alluded to, continuing to grow the base of uh, outlets that we have to continue growing the distribution in ac acquisition of more outlets. So how we're doing that is unique, but is very important to what we need to do. We just closed on the first 150 stores or so where wow. we'll be distributing into. Um, um, that's going to continue to grow. And that's, that's the milestones we need to see. I would like to see a thousand stores and I believe we'll exceed that a thousand stores over the next 12 months. That's and, and a story for another day is our Blackbird American hemp brand. Um, that's taken a little bit of a backseat. Uh, 
the election sort of waylaid a lot of investments going on in Montana that in that regard last fall. Um, we want to be a hemp processor. We think we've come up with an interesting plan for that, but that's for another day. But that's that's part of our plan as well. We want to do the whole range of things that kind of relate to one another on that. That sounds great. I love what you guys are doing. Why would an investor want to invest in your company? We are disruptive and we have fun with it. And I'll let Fabian take that from there and why we're disruptive. Well, because we look outside of the box, we, we're not uh, handcuffed by w- how things are being done. We want to do things uh, a different way. So going back to the reason how this has all uh, come to life and where we're at today is we look at what do people need? How can we solve that problem? Uh, our CBD, you know, it's everybody wants to be in C, the CBD space because it is a very uh, uh, heavy growth area. But you need to do it with the people at heart, not at the dollar. So um, being disruptive, we look at it that way. We look at it. How can we help people? How can we grow the company? Of course, that's uh, most important from the financial side. But when we look at it is we look in the mirror every morning. And we like to see who we like to see, that we know that we did the job for the right reasons. So what makes us different? We, we are uh, nimble. We are uh, solution-based. We had spider mites. We figured out a, a all-natural way to control those spider mites. Uh, CBD was uh, part of that bio-learning process. And so we, we do everything a lot different than uh, uh, companies do. We're, uh, how do uh, can I say, we're a little goofy. <laughs> we like to uh, find a problem and fix the problem. And uh, we know if we're doing it for the right reasons, the results will take care of themselves. Very good. Now, we're, I'm an investor. We have a community of investors all over the world. About 100 countries will be watching this video. So as an investor, funder, or potential partner, how do they get in contact with you when somebody's interested in learning more about your company? What's the best way to, for them to reach you? Eric, I'll let you take that because I'll take that. Um, the best way to reach us is to text me. And my number is 940-367-6154. And email works as well. Um, the email is e newland, N-E-W-L-A-N at digitaldevelopmentpartners.com. And I try to respond. It's kind of part of my law practice too. I can't let them sit. So I like to respond and keep things churning. So I'd, we always reach back out and, and we're open to anything. Any idea, we're not, we're not proud of what we're thinking. We want to know what everybody else thinks. They can help us get better. And you, can also, find it. Yeah. you can also find us on our website, Eric. We have blackbirdpotentials.com digitaldevelopmentpartners.com, uh, mightextreme.com, and grizzlycreeknaturals.com, where our CBD store is up and running. Fantastic. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for your time today. I want everyone that's watching to know that Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications so every time we go live or we have any updated news, you get access to it first. Thank you so much for your time today, Eric Newlin, the Vice President, and Fabian Deneau, the President of Digital Development Partners. Thank you for your time today, gentlemen. Thanks, Rich. Thank you, Rich. And thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day.